Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm John Simpson. Today we're going to continue our series on hoarder vehicles. In this scenario, uh, fire rescue units were dispatched to a vehicle accident with a rollover with entrapment. Upon their arrival, they found hoarder conditions in the vehicle, which further entrapped our patient. Once the fire rescue crews get involved, they've stabilized the vehicle, they've done a size up, and they're going to begin extrication. They're going to remove the roof to gain access to our, our patient. Gaining access to the, our patient, they're going to have to remove some of the debris from the vehicle. As our crews uh, prepare to extricate the victim, the vehicle has been stabilized, uh, the glass has been removed. We're going to, again, cover our patient, protect our patient as much as possible. We we'll start with cutting the A-post of the, the vehicle. Again, contact is made by the cutting firefighter and the rescue firefighter to make sure the patient is covered and protected. Crews will continue cutting down the B, C, and D posts of the vehicle, and then eventually make relief cuts at the bottom of the roof, and we'll fold the roof down. As the rescuers do continue to do their cuts, they're constantly uh, sizing up the hoarder conditions in the vehicle to make sure things don't shift any worse than what they really are or a condition that they can't control. Post on top have been cut. Again, we're going to do relief cuts on the bottom part of the roof, and we'll be able to get the uh, begin the flapping process of the roof. Rescue firefighter will move to the front of the vehicle, made the, make the final relief cut. All relief cuts have been made. The crews are going to flap our roof down. Crews flap the roof down. As you can see, a lot of the debris it falls, gets in their way once they uh, remove the roof out of the area. A lot of the debris needs to be moved again so they can gain better access to our patient, size up our patient's uh, status. The patient will then be removed on a long board and be treated by EMS. In this scenario, we had an overturned vehicle with entrapment. Upon arrival of fire rescue units, they found that it was a hoarder vehicle in which the hoarding conditions surrounded our victim in the vehicle. The vehicle was stabilized and an extrication began. Once they removed and flapped the roof, we saw the hoarder conditions begin to collapse down further around the, the victim and the rescuers, which gave a little extra work for our rescuers that had to remove the debris from the vehicle and then uh, remove our patient from the vehicle. I'm John Simpson. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes. This series is in memory of E.J. Mascaro, fire rescue, FDIC instructor.